Well, thank you for letting us into your flat, Harry. We're here in Newbury, but you're a, a Sussex boy, so what's brought you to Newbury then? Location is, is very good for, for myself and racing. We're very central here and just lessens driving a little bit. Obviously, Lambourne's only 20 minutes down the road, so it's quite handy to go into a few trains there. 2014, I suppose it's fair to say, has been a bit of a mixed year. How would you sum up the last 12 months? I've had some some near misses and some, and some nice races, which has been a little bit frustrating. If you look over your shoulder, you can see lightning thunder there. I suppose that day back in May, coming so close in a, in a classic, must have been a bit frustrating. You can't help but kind of question, you know, what could you have done to, to uh, make up the deficit? But she obviously ran a cracking race, and she, we went into the race knowing that she was a nice filly, and she, she did a race course gallop there a couple of weeks before. So we were quietly confident that she'd run quite well and obviously put in a massive performance. If it was such an AMS, it'd be probably the highlight of my season. I went away to Dubai again to Ishmael Mohammed's this year with the, with the thought of just having another season out in Dubai. Um, a friend of mine based in Qatar contacted me about a week before I went out to Dubai and she basically just said, come over, I think there's some great opportunities in Qatar. Then just made a habit of going there every week and obviously as, as I kept on going out, I'm showing my face a bit more, I got more and more rides and it turned out to be a pretty fruitful uh, time over there and I didn't actually miss a week. Well you got a group one win out there, you were a champion jockey, did you expect to be so successful when you headed out there? Not at all, I mean I went there and I think the season had probably started about, I don't know, about five or six weeks before, so obviously everyone else had had a, a fair few more rides than I had and I didn't have the contacts at all. So no, obviously, going over there I was expecting just to pick up the odd ride, hopefully bag a winner and see what I can do. Basically, just fill a bit of time that when I was I'm not doing anything in Dubai. So, very unexpected, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And is it something that you'd look to do again this winter? Definitely. Um, I wouldn't even think twice about not going. I mean, like I say, I had too many winners almost not to go back. So away from racing then, you've got the day off today, so what, uh, what does the day bring for you? I don't get up to an awful lot, to be honest. I mean, uh, it all depends on you know where whereabouts I am in the country or whatever. Um, sometimes I might just go and see my brother or whatever. He's up in Sirencester, so I might go and see him. Or we'll just relax at home, watch the racing. But um, play the odd bit of golf, but I haven't played for a little while. I've been here for just over a year now. And you decorated it all yourself? I did. Yeah, I did decorate myself. I just um, actually that's but taken up quite a lot of the time really. It's been a bit difficult obviously with racing you're out you're out the house a lot and deliveries come and you can't take them so it's been a bit frustrating that fact but slowly got there I think. So you'll be heading off abroad then this winter but looking ahead to 2015 future bright for you? I'm looking forward to, to what, what comes next obviously it's all changed with the, the guitar job so um, yeah a bit of a challenge ahead of me. You mentioned keeping your face in with contacts and I suppose if you, you are heading abroad that's one thing that you're not going to be able to do over here. If, does that worry you at all? For me I think it will just be a matter of getting my face into as many yards as I possibly can just trying to, to build rapport with trainers and contacts I mean it is, is key in the game and if you can get into a nice stable then pick up the odd ride and you know just to see what can go from there but I'll be doing my utmost to spread my face around and see what I can get. So before you got the job with Qatar though you were claiming and it's going to be very different for you because you're, you haven't got that safety net of a, a retained job or your claim. No, not at all. You are thrown in the deep end as it were. Um, when I first got involved with Qatar I was still claiming three. I didn't have many winners left on my claim but I was still claiming. So it was obviously a little bit of security when you, you always know when you lose your claim that's when it gets hard because like you say you're against the, the big boys and you you're not separated in any way. So it will be a little bit different, I suppose. It's gonna be quite difficult. It's a challenge and I'm looking forward to it. And so come on, give us one horse to follow then for, for next summer, 2015. Probably Best of Times, which is one of Saibin's horses. He's a really, really nice horse. He's a, he's a very big horse and looks like he'll train on.